Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about attraction selection attrition model that explains why members in an organization are similar to each other. Even when competing in the same environment, organizations differ in their behavior. We sometimes observe similar organization in the same market, but they behave differently at least in some aspects. For example, while some organizations try to achieve competitive advantage through product quality, others try to do it by reducing the price. The attraction selection attrition model explains such differences. This model is usually called ASA model for short. Some perspectives explain the difference between organizations. Perspectives such as interactional psychology argue that situational factors generate differences between organizations. On the other hand, the ASA model takes a person-centered view. ASA model proposes that differences between organizations derive from the difference between their people. Specifically, each organization will attract different kinds of people, so the differences between organizations will emerge. Schneider's seminal work, published in 1987, proposed the ASA model. ASA model proposes that organizations tend to be more homogeneous in personality over time through attraction, selection, and attrition. First, in the attraction process, people who share important attributes with a particular organization are likely to be attracted to the organization. Then, people who are attracted tend to apply for the organization. In the selection process, people who share important attributes with the organization are likely to be selected by the organization and become organizational members. Then, in the attrition process, members who do not fit the organization are likely to leave. Through these processes, an organization becomes homogeneous. That is, the organization consists of almost only a particular kind of people. The attraction, selection, and attrition as a whole are called the ASA process for short. Different kinds of organizations will attract different kinds of people. So, through the ASA process, while within organization homogeneity increases, between organization variability also increases. Thus, the process leads to variability in organizational culture and behavior. A notable point in the ASA model is the gradual change over time through the ASA process. That is, through the ASA process, the heterogeneity in organizational members decreases over time. Moreover, as the within organization homogeneity increases through the ASA process, between organizational variability in personality will be clearer over time. As time passes, people who are attracted to are selected by and remain in an organization determine the organization's characteristics. Schneider's paper in 1987 did not articulate the criteria of similarity or fit between an organization and individuals. However, later research regarded personality, attitudes, and values as determinants of the surrounding setting. So, in the ASA framework, fit usually means the similarity in personality, attitudes, or values. Although not included in the ASA acronym, the core of the ASA model is organizational goals. Organizational goals are set by the organization founder. Based on the finding of a previous study, the ASA model relies on the proposition that, other things being equal, the founder's personality determines organizational structure and strategy. So, the ASA model assumes that organizational goals reflect the founder's personality. Organizational goals will be manifested via organizational behavior. 
then the behavior will construct the organizational structure and process. These manifested organizational goals will determine what kinds of people are attracted to, selected by, and remain in the organization. Let's see each component of the ASA process one by one. The first is the attraction process. Suppose an individual is considering working in a particular organization. He estimates the degree of fit between his personality and the characteristics of the organization, such as organizational culture. This estimation can be explicit or implicit and can be subjective. If he perceives a high fit between himself and the organization, he will be attracted to the organization. Then, he will likely apply to the organization. Individuals differ in their personalities, and the organizations differ in their goals and culture. Therefore, different individuals are attracted to different organizations. In the selection process, organizations further restrict the range of people's types. A person has multi-dimensional attributes, that is, multiple characteristics. In the selection process, an organization chooses people who share many characteristics with the organization. Therefore, organizations tend to hire only a particular kind of people. In the attrition process, individuals who do not fit the organization leave the organization. Then, only individuals who fit the organization will remain. Accordingly, organizational members become more similar to each other. Through the attraction and the selection process, organizations have already been homogeneous. Through the attrition process, the organization will be more homogeneous. The ASM model was empirically supported. O and colleagues examined the ASM model using the five-factor model of personality to measure within organization homogeneity and between organization heterogeneity. They found that the ASA process as a whole and each of the ASA process increased within organization homogeneity over time. They also found that the ASA process as a whole and each of the ASA process increase between organization heterogeneity over time. That is, their study supported the validity of the ASA model. Another notable finding in their study is that, among the three processes in the ASA model, the impact of the selection is the largest in the progressions of within organization homogeneity and between organization heterogeneity. Although not included in the original ASM model, socialization is regarded as another process that increases the homogeneity in people already employed by the organization. After joining the organization, individuals directly experience organizational life. Then, they understand and learn the values, abilities, and behaviors that the organization regards as essential for an organizational member. Through this process, individuals are socialized from outsiders to effective insiders of the organization. Organizations implement socialization practices intentionally designed to adapt newcomers to organizational life. These practices include training, mentoring, and orientation programs. On the individual side, some newcomers behave proactively to be socialized in the organization. Through socialization, newcomers become more similar to other members. Therefore, the organization becomes more homogeneous. The Kuman et al. combined socialization theory with ASA model. And they show that socialization as well as attrition process enhance organizational members' homogeneity. 
attraction and selection of phases before entering the organization. Socialization and attrition of phases after entering the organization. The ASM model explains the progress of within organization homogeneity based on some attributes. Schneider et al. stated that the attributes of interest are personality, attitudes, and values. They use the word personality to subsume these characteristics. The following research examined the within organization homogeneity mainly based on personality or personal values. However, Various factors other than personality and personal values might matter. For example, career orientation can affect person-organization fit and within-organization homogeneity. Another significant issue is that the ASA process can decrease organizational effectiveness. As shown in classical research, Within organization homogeneity may improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the organization. However, empirical studies reveal that certain types of workforce diversity could improve group performance. If the manager permits the ASA process to operate, the organization might become less adaptive to environmental change. In summary, the ASM model proposes that individuals are likely attracted to an organization with similar attributes. Then, the organization tends to select individuals who share values and other attributes. Finally, individuals who do not fit the organization are likely to leave. These processes result in within-organization homogeneity and between-organization heterogeneity. Thank you for listening.